Okay, this is a long way to go in the construction phase for uh, just uh, a modeling for construction. This, uh, these these uh, modifying parts and, and the gaps on these prefabricated concrete uh, panels. But I think I did find uh, um, the solution to uh, what was perplexing me a little bit earlier regarding this, being able to give it two different profiles as we sweep a custom, custom profile um, in different uh, X and Y planes, or any plane for that matter, to give it a custom look in, in, in two different perspectives, or three, or, or whatever the case may be, depending on how you slice this wall up, right? So now, if I select it, and I change it into a part, and uh, it is a part, and if I divide the part into, uh, by uh, intersecting planes, and if I give it all of them, and by level two, reference plane y, uh, x, y, x plane one, and grid one, and hit apply, and hit okay, uh, and I hit, and notice that the division gap needs to be set to one inch, and the division profile is now uh, a notch. And no, I'm not gonna do anything else other than that, and just let it be that it's complementary. I'm going to select out of there, it's already been applied. And then you'll notice there's a, a, um, a notch. In, um, and we can look at it from, let me take, let me turn the section box on so you can see something here. It'll be a lot easier for you to see it when the parapet's not in the way. And as you see, the notch extends up to the top as well. All right, so we have this notch uh, based on three intersecting, right? based on three intersecting references. Level one, grid one, and reference plane, Y plane one. So now, and this is where it gets a little tricky, where Euclidean space plays into it. And the study of it is, will return dividends to you. What it's now saying is that you want to be able to give it maybe two custom profiles in maybe two different directions. Maybe when it runs along the grid line one, uh, uh, it is gonna inherit the profile of a step notch, or if it's gonna run along another profile, another intersecting reference line, a reference plane, it's gonna take on the profile of another division profile. So you have two profiles. So let's do that. Let's go back, select any one of the panels, it says, and go to edit division, right? And go to intersecting planes and show all levels. Take away the X plane one, right? Take away the X plane one, uh, Y plane one, sorry. Undo that one. Right? So now, we have just the two, right? We have a notch here and a, and a step notch there. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go here and see if I can get it done. I'm gonna intersect in planes, levels all. I'm gonna put that plane back on again. Right? Fine, okay. I'm gonna do okay. And now it's back, right? So that'll show you how to do that. Now, hopefully I get this right. I'm gonna to go to edit, I'm gonna to go to edit division again. And I'm going to come down here. Now, if I was to remove selected parts from the division, that's one way of getting rid of it. But if I wanted to have in this profile, have, let's just say, just a, a notch, and then this one, this is a, this is an angled step, but now look over here, that's an angled step as well. But the key is to being able to have an angled step here and a, um, a, a notch here. And being that I'm doing all the work today, I'm gonna let you figure that out. Let's see if you can figure that out on your end. Maybe someday we'll meet up in the field and you can show me how to do it instead of me showing you how to do it.